Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to show you something that has become a modern British classic, but we stole it from the Italians. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the prima donna of pastas, the richest of ragouts, the sloppiest of sauces. Spag ball. So before I start, I want to give a shout out to Hazel B, who's been following my channel for quite a while and always loves everything I do. That's great, I like that. So Hazel, this is for you. So spag bol, I won't call it spaghetti bolognese because that would be a total insult to Italian cuisine because the original bolognese sauce is nothing like what we do. I might do an authentic version of that one time, but uh, for now, this is something that we stole from the Italians. We completely ignored everything that was good about it and we put our own good things in. And it's easy to make and delicious, lovely comfort food. So let's do it. So ingredients for the sauce, I've got 250 grams of minced beef, a can of Italian chopped tomatoes, that's 400 grams, and some passata, that's, uh, that'll be about 200 grams in there, that's half full. Half a litre of chicken stock, teaspoon of ground black pepper, a medium onion or you know some little ones, a good handful of basil, fresh basil or one or two teaspoons of dried basil and some garlic cloves. And then for the spaghetti I've got 150 grams of spaghetti, that's 75 grams per person and I'll have a, a grating of this cheese. Cheese, if you were trying to be authentically Italian, would be Parmesan, of course, but uh, Grana Padano is a perfectly acceptable substitute, and if you want to be a Brit about it, you'll obviously use cheddar. Oh, and I sometimes use one or two rashers of smoky bacon, chopped fine, but I haven't got any, so I'm not. So I'm just prepping the garlic. I've uh, chopped the ends off and I'm peeling the skin off. And I'll just crush them in the crushing machine Now to prep the onions, usual drill, top and tail them, chop them off, rip the skin off, slice them thinly, and chop, chop, chop. So I've got a good slug of oil heating in the pan. This is rapeseed oil. You could use olive oil, of course, or even your bog standard sunflower oil. So I just want to soften these onions first. Now we'll pop the garlic in. I'll let that cook a little bit. And the onions are softening up, so we'll put the meat in. And just separate that out so all the strands get browned. Actually, they get greyed, and, uh, but stop them being pink. Now we'll add the stock, and the tomatoes, and the passata. I think I'm probably pronouncing that like it was Spanish, but it's Italian, so passata. <laughs> passata. Now I'm going to add the basil. Experts say don't cut it, tear it. Uh, I don't know what difference it makes, but you know, I always do what I'm told, don't I? Finally, a good old shake of ground black pepper. And we'll just let this simmer for about an hour and see how we're getting on. Okay, so an hour later, this is looking pretty fabulous. I will have a taste. It's okay, maybe needs a bit of salt. I should have mentioned, because this is a completely made up recipe that really isn't a recipe, a lot of people would put green pepper or mushrooms or all manner of strange things in their spag bog, and that's fine by me. I wouldn't eat it, but this is how I do it. <laughs> now, I'm gonna leave this till tomorrow because the flavours will sort of intensify and it will be, it's fab now, you could eat it now, but tomorrow it will be ultra fab and mmm. Okay, it's the next day and I've got a big pan full of boiling salted water. It's got to be what we call a rolling boil, okay? Lots and lots of bubbles on the top, not a simmer. You don't put your pasta in until it's reached that point. So it has, so I'll put the spaghetti in. Just press it down until it's all submerged and it'll tell you the cooking time on the packet. This says 9 to 11 minutes so I'll give it 9. Because what we want is al dente pasta, not al mushy. And I've got some of the sauce in a smaller pan 
not all of it because I'm going to use some of it to make that other great British classic chili con carne. So the timer's has just gone off and I'm going to drain the spaghetti. I'm just going to melt a knob of butter in the pan and then toss the spaghetti in. Give it a quick whiz round and that's ready to serve. I do this because I like butter <laughs> but also it makes the pasta kind of silkier. More luxurious, it's lovely. So to serve it up just plop some spaghetti on the plate. Try to get it on the plate and then pour some of the sauce on top. Sprinkle it with cheese and a couple of little basil leaves just to make it look gorgeous. There you go, spag bowl. Mm -mm -mm. Now I'm going to taste it. Ooh, ready for this. Wasted a day for it, you know. I have to do that twizzly thing with uh, the fork. And just a general tip, don't wear a white shirt while you do this. Or if you do, also wear a big apron. What can I say? That's perfect. Spag bowl. And that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Now please share it with all your friends on social media. Subscribe to this channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and don't forget the amazing website that has all the details of all the recipes. And thank you for watching. Come back soon.